What's up guys and welcome back to some more Hypixel Skyblock Iron Man. Today we are continuing our quest to defeat our pretty much rival at this point, the Tier 3 Void Gloom Slayer boss. And today I'm gonna be crafting something I originally wasn't going to. But uh, I'm looking forward to it now because uh, I talked to a lot of you guys, you guys gave me a ton of recommendations in the comments. And I could not be more thankful of that, so um, if you're still enjoying the Iron Man series, hit the like button down below, it helps me know that you guys are still enjoying the videos. And if you're new to the channel or just haven't already, do me a favor, double check if you're subscribed. Even if you think you are, there's a chance you're not and we're trying to get to 85,000, and it means a lot more than you think for the channel. One last thing, if you like my texture pack, you know, like the textures and stuff, or if you want my Skyblock mod folder, which has all of the mods I use for Skyblock, join my Discord server. I'll leave a link to my Discord server in the pinned comment as well as the description of the video. We also do uh, big giveaways and stuff there, so uh, it's pretty good fun. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy today's episode. This is gonna be crazy. If we go open our magical chest over here, look how much stuff I have! We have a ton of Null Spheres, Enchanted Redstone, and Enchanted Obsidian, along with three Precursor Gears, and, uh, well, I'm guessing from the obvious thumbnail I'm gonna make on this video, you know what we're gonna be crafting today. So, uh, there's no point in waiting. We're going to be crafting Final Destination Armor, the entire set. So I'm going to need to grab every single one of these Null Spheres. I actually can't grab all of them yet. And I want to be extra careful to not, like, mess this up or anything, because we need all of these Null Ovoids. So we'll do this, boom, boom. And then it should be 10 Null Ovoids in total. And then all of this Enchanted Redstone. And I don't know the recipe, so we're gonna have to do this by, uh, by memory here. I think it's like, I think there's one that's like this? Yeah, so here's the final destination legs. And then I believe the chest plate is for like this, I wanna say. Oh, I had the recipe backwards. It's like this. So if we do uh, that, there we go. Here's the final destination chest plate. And then the last one is the helmet, which I think is just like this. Yup, there it is. So we have all of those, and then we made the boots in the last episode. And here it is, the full Final Destination armor set. Take a look at it in its glorious, magnificent beauty. So here it is, and now the big thing with this is the more kills we get on the set, the more defense this set will give. So right now you can see its stats. It does not look very good, but as we kill more Endermen and do more of these Slayers, then this set's only gonna get stronger and stronger. And it has a special ability when you're wearing the full set, but it costs soul flow. So every five seconds you're in combat, you'll get 50 strength, 30 attack speed, 10 speed, 1.2 times your intelligence, and 200 ferocity. But again, this drains soul flow so fast, we're gonna need a absolute ton of it, and we only have one lesser soul flow engine. So it's gonna be rough, and we basically only want to wear this set when we absolutely have to. But uh, this set needs some work. Obviously, we have to enchant it and stuff, so we're gonna go uh, with the standard Growth 5, Prot 5, since I don't really have anything else to put onto it. Growth 5, Prot 5, and I think I should have enough XP levels to do this one as well. And Prot 5, there we go. And then, of course, we have over in this chest as well the three precursor gears to make this entire set ancient. Now, I was receiving mixed opinions in the comments of whether I should use full final destination or not use the helmet, but uh, I thought about it and I have some ideas and I figured it would just be good to, you know, have the helmet, you know, just in case and uh, level it up because, well, I'd rather, I'd rather use it and be wrong than not use the helmet and have one piece that doesn't have any kills on it. So I think we're just gonna use this entire set here. Now, unfortunately, again, I don't have hot potato books, and that is a huge problem, and it's something I will have to fix in between episodes, because, well, uh, my potato farm is kind of out of commission at the moment. Uh, you'll, you'll see the problem pretty quick when I go up here. Yeah, there's, um, there's a pumpkin farm in the way. So I'm gonna have to basically go down and build more layers of this, uh, potato farm, because, well, uh, can't really use it at the moment. So we're gonna have to go without using that, but, um... Take a look at how much intelligence we have. If I hold the katana, we have almost a thousand, which is so much more than we had before. And I do want to see how uh, how much lower our damage is in this set than the Necron set. So we're going to actually go and do some testing here. Hold on, I have to actually put the uh, put this on correctly. Boom, there we go. Warp, drag, and see how much of a hit our damage is going to take. Because remember, our damage is going to be lower in the Necron set. Uh, hold on, I see that I'm wearing Max or boots because I was doing dungeons earlier for the Precursor gear. But uh, with Necron, we do about our 210,000 damage. And I don't want to hit very many Endermen because this is going to cost Soul Flow. 
But, uh, yeah, 162, 159, 184, so about 175, I would say. So we're losing about 26,000 damage, which is about 10% of our total DPS, maybe about 12. However, we're getting 200 ferocity, which is gonna be 50 when we're fighting the boss, combined with the 200 from this, so we're gonna have 100, the full amount of ferocity we need, and it's going to make us deal a lot more damage over time compared to the 3 fourths Necron on Reaper Mask. And ideally, once I grind this set out and give a, get a bunch of kills on it, then it's gonna be a lot tankier than our current, uh, our current gear, and we might just be able to kill it without having to grind an RNG drop, because, uh, for some reason, all you were saying, get Warden Helmet, get Overflux, well, read the name, I'm gonna try, but, uh, you know, with 25 mil in the bank and Aatrox coming up, eh, I can't promise anything's gonna happen. Another thing I have planned, uh, for during Aatrox is going to be using the, um, oh, I have a tier 2 active already, but I was gonna show, uh, I'm currently rev level 7, and if I get to Revenant Slayer 8, which I'm going to do, uh, later tonight off camera, or maybe I'll make an episode out of it, I'm not too sure yet, uh, we get 50% more natural regen, which is gonna be huge. Wait a minute! Wait, this doesn't have rejuvenate! Oh, wait, that could be an issue. That could be a big issue. How important is Rejuvenate? Does it only work in dungeons? Like, wait, I need to find, I need to find a Rejuvenate book. Um, oh, 40% natural regen if we get a full Rejuvenate 5 set. That's kind of good. All right, I'm gonna dig through my island and see how many Rejuvenate books I can find, and I'll be back probably with that chest full of books in a moment. Okay, turns out I have a lot of books. Like, a lot of books, and, uh, I need more XP. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is, uh, oh, I'm gonna take the armor off, that's for sure. Also, I found out a way to disable the set bonus temporarily, so while we're grinding kills, I'm not gonna lose all my soul flow, thankfully. But, uh, we need to put these on. Uh, we're starting with Rejuvenate 3, because, uh, I'm stupid and I just realized I didn't have to, but, uh, it's too late. Actually, I can't afford it on the boots, so we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna go Rejuvenate 2 on the boots. And then now we can start the process of grinding all of these out. Hold on really quick, I have another Rejuvenate 2 right there, so that'll make it level 3, and then I can make the boots a level 4. So, uh, I don't know how many books I have, but essentially I'm just going to grab these 8 at a time, and, uh, put them on the- Or I guess no, I'm gonna grab them 4 at a time, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and then, uh, now we can put Rejuvenate 4 on all of these, we just have to make a bunch of level 3 books in order to do that. But, uh, this is gonna require more brain power than ever to use this set, even to just finish maxing the set because, uh, these books are making my brain melt already. But, uh, there we go, this should be Rejuvenate 4. Yes, it is. This should be Rejuvenate 4. Yes, and then so should this. There we go. So, uh, now we only need, um, 24 more books. 19, 20, 21, 22, which we have. So that's, uh, that's good. So all we need is pretty much this. That is 18 books and one, uh, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we'll have three books to spare, but, uh, these should make a bunch of, uh, tier 2s, and we'll make them into tier 3s, make them into tier 4s, and combine them to make the Coveted Rejuvenate 5. And there's level 4, and then we put level 5 on these. So that'll be level 5, there we go. And then this will be level 5, there we go. The boots are, are not level 5, wait, I miscounted! Oh no, I miscounted, wait, 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 I don't have enough! I thought the boots were already Rejuvenate 5, but I guess not. So hold on, if I combine these, we have a level 2, a level 1, so we would need a level 3 and a level 1, so we would need what? 5 more books. I'm not sure I have five more. I don't think I do. We're gonna have to stick with the Rejuvenate 4 on the boots. But uh, there we go. Um, and I'll show you how to disable the set. So basically, if I go Warp Drag, uh, you'll be able to see. I'm just gonna slap something with like my Wand of Mending. It doesn't really matter why. She's not one-shot it. And we'll check if it uses Ferocity. Okay, so we can see that it uh, it is using Ferocity right now. But if I middle-click the set, so with my middle-click on my mouse button like that, then uh, I know it didn't look like that anything happened. But uh, it's not active anymore. So, uh, that's pretty cool. And if you wanted it to reactivate, you just simply take off a piece of the armor, put it back on, and then, uh, it'll reset itself. So we're gonna lock these back up. And, uh, I guess I'm just gonna spend a good while slapping some of these Endermen. And, uh, there is a couple more things I want to do before we take on a Tier 3 again. One of them being upgrading our, uh, our summoning ring souls, because you guys told me that uh, I could actually use more than two, because if I wear the reaper mask while I'm summoning them, so if, in this case, if I wear the, um, if I wear three-fourths of the wise armor, I can take this off so you can actually see, uh, and then I throw on the reaper mask on top of it, uh, the reaper mask will let me hold two more souls, so I can actually summon four tank zombies, or, um, some of you were saying I should grab the, uh, the zombie knights, 
And then there's also the option of trying to find admin souls, which are from the, uh, the admin rooms inside of dungeons. But those are really rare, and I don't know if I'll be able to get one. Although, if I were able to get one, it's probably going to be like a last case scenario. If I can't beat this boss with anything, I've tried everything, and I can't do it, then we're just going to say, you know what, it's fine. And, uh, just deal with not using, or deal with the hunt for the admin soul. So we'll try tier 2. Uh, but we're gonna be extremely squishy right now, and, uh, there's no way we can take out a tier 3 because I just don't have the defense required for it. But, uh, I just want to see how well a, uh, a tier 2 goes right now. I should probably put my wolf pet on. My wolf pet wasn't on for some reason because, uh, I think I started this quest yesterday, so my auto pet, like, worked yesterday. And there we go! We can see the boots upgraded to 20%, uh, or 20 defense. I think the boots are, like, 5 kills or something. Oh, they're 51 kills ahead of the, uh, rest of the pieces. But we can see that we got 20 defense extra against Endermen. And uh, basically, every time we tier up, we'll get 20 defense. Actually, yeah, the next one will be plus 40. So, um, every time we tiered up, we'll get 20 defense per piece. So, uh, that would be 80 defense in total every single time we tier these boots up. And we want to get, like, at least, like, two or 3,000 kills, whatever the... I'll probably do whatever milestone is closest to, um... Or, like, after 2,000 or so. Because it doesn't matter what level Endermen we kill. It can be level 1s, it can be, uh, level 50s. But we can't do it on our island, unfortunately. So I can't just set down minions. Oh, my boss spawned for some reason. That's awkward. Wait, I wanted to take the, um... I wanted to do this. There we go. Oh, oh, let's not die. And then we want to use the soul flow and just watch how much frosty we get. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I need to... No, please don't die. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta actually focus here and try not to end. I'm dead. Yeah, you can see these boots need to be, um... They need to be leveled up quite a lot, so, um, I also need hot potato books. So, looks like I'm gonna be setting up a, uh, a farm here later on, but, uh, let's go hunt for some more souls, because, uh, I need some more stuff to do in this video. Alright, I'm gonna take you on the journey with me into Master Mode Catacombs 3 by myself. Let me make sure that was actually floor 3, okay. And I'll show you how I get the souls. So, essentially, I'm gonna be running with my, uh, oh, with my whale pet, my Necron armor. And now uh, we're going to be playing Archer, and I'm basically just going to hide for my dear life, because I'll die in three hits to anything. So, uh, oh, oh, careful. And as long as I have this summoning ring on me, come on. Oh, that would have been so cool if I actually dropped a soul on the very first enemy. Um, you can see if I get a, okay, okay, I'm almost out of health again. You can see if it drops a soul based on if there's a little ghost head on the ground. Basically, I would right click it with a summoning ring, and I would get the soul. But, uh, in this case, the tank zombie is what we're after. If a zombie knight happens to drop one, I'll pick one up because you guys recommended it. Um, I don't actually have any way to blow this up, so I'm not going to. I could try to get, like, a lost adventurer soul or something, but those cost a lot of mana to summon. Okay, gotta be careful, gotta be careful. Okay, let's pick out- <gasps> Oh, oh, that's a tank zombie! Your sword is already full. Wait, 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 wait. What if I- There we go! So now we have three tank zombies. Okay, okay. So that's kind of the gist of how we do it, and um, we're doing this. Oh, that loss of entry is so gonna kill me. Hold on. What if we just like kind of... Oh, why can't I do that? So I'm watching this part back while I'm editing, and I used a Maddox bat phone, trying to use my archer ultimate, and then proceeded to ask why it wasn't working. Uh, why? Uh, we're just gonna keep this guy as far away from us as possible. I think that's kind of the play, because if we somehow get a loss of venture soul, I'm pretty sure that would be really OP, but I'm not sure. I'm just gonna keep an eye out. Look how many arrows is in this poor guy. I almost feel bad for him, man. All right, come on, come on. And he's dead and we did not get a soul from him, but that's fine. I mean, we just took on a master three um enemy right there. Hold on, there's some stuff I gotta snipe out of the way here. And uh, come on, dang it. We didn't get a soul from that tank zombie. What about you? No. Don't really care about those guys. We're kind of more or less just after the uh, the tank zombie. Dang it. Another chance. It's a really small chance to drop one. Oh, hi. You're totally going to kill me. Uh, I should not be alive right now. Maybe if we just kind of... There we go. Make him mad. And then get him stuck in the corner. Okay, he should he should have to gapple. There we go. And uh, no soul from him, but that's okay. Is that going to... Is that going to kill me? Please. No, 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 no. Uh, no soul from there. There's some more guys down here. Oh, okay. Watch that. There's a Dreadlord soul. I don't think those are any good though. Um, oh, oh, that was a tank zombie. Wait, that was a tank zombie. That was a tank zombie. Okay. Okay. So what do I want to do? It's right there. So I go to the Reaper mask and then I right click him. There we go. We now have four level 80 tank zombies in our little thing here. Now I just need something to die to. I'll go over to the trap. 
That was a lot faster than last time. Last time I did this, it took me like 20 minutes to get one soul, and we just got two from the same run, which is absolutely ridiculous. So I guess I can more or less just expand the party. Oh, uh, we didn't get a Zombie Knight soul, but that's totally fine. Tank zombies, they do their job. They sit there, they're all tanky, they won't die. And I'll show you how I can summon four of them at once, because it's a little bit tricky. If you remember, I think it was 408 mana for me to summon one of them. So we're going to need like 16 or 1700 mana to do it. And I have to be wearing the storm armor. Oh, actually, never mind. We already have a 1700 mana. I was going to have to do this whole thing where I hold the sheep pet and I hold the florid zombie sword and then quickly like swap over to the summoning ring. It was going to be super cool, but turns out we just have enough already. So uh, I think technically all we have to do is get up to like max mana here and then um, I can just summon them all. But uh, I definitely want to use the sheep pet because it makes it a lot cheaper to summon. It's like 20% cheaper. But it should be, we, I mean, we should be able to summon them right now. I just don't really want to risk it. You know, we'll do the trick just for the heck of it. So here we go. And like that. Okay, it said we summoned four of them. It was, what, 1,612, 1,608 mana? 1,608 mana. But there we go. We now have four tank zombies. Uh, they look awesome. They all have 160k health. And uh, there we go. So I'd summon those before we do our tier three. And they should help out a lot with them. Um, blocking some of the hits, allowing me to heal, and clearing out that hit phase a lot faster. So the only thing left to do really is to uh, level up this final destination armor as much as possible. So I've already been doing some work on it, I've gotten it up to 500 kills, each piece gets 90 extra defense now, so that's what, 360 total defense compared to uh, what we have earlier, and what, we, what, do we, what do we need it to pass our Necron set? So let's take a look at the Necron chestplate, the tankiest piece. It is 182 defense, well, this has 122 plus 90, so this is actually already tankier than our Necron setup. Although, although, it does not have as much health as the Necron. So I'm probably going to grind this to, like, 2,000, 2,500 kills. And then, um, you know what? We'll try a tier 3 this episode. I'll try one real tier 3. Alright, I've leveled them up a lot, and I think it's time for a little bit of a rematch here. My summons are going to kill stuff. Wait, summons don't kill it. I'm not ready. Uh, final destination, take off the boots, put on the boots. Okay, okay. Here we go. Let's use, uh, this sword. There we go. And here we go. Okay, so we have to do this. Hit it once, and then back off so these guys can do the hit phase. And then heal up. And then use soul cry. Okay, all the perks are working correctly. Boom, there we go. And then back off for the hit phase. Oh, wait. I need to actually open the hit phase. There we go. Let them go. And then go back in and fight him. Yeah, look how little damage we're taking right now. I mean, tier 2s aren't as crazy as tier 3s, but I mean, for like having half of the set kind of, like, it's not like fully maxed. It's only at, at like 100 and something. Or, it's like it's like at 1,000 kills. It's like plus 150. Wait, wait, where's the beacon? Okay, that was close. Let's use this. I just got to keep remembering to uh, oh, back off every time that happens and keep using the soul cry ability because look how much damage we do. We kill them very quickly. So as long as I keep using the ability here, then uh, we'll be fine. Boom, and he's dead. So that really wasn't that bad at all. But you can see I have 1396 kills on them. I want to try to get it up to about like 2500 before we take on a tier 3. But I mean, if I set everything up like this, I think we might actually stand a chance against this thing. So I'll do a little bit more kills on this and then we'll, uh, we'll match up a tier 3 at the end of the video. Alright, well, I've tried this like four times off recording. Well, recording, but I got absolutely destroyed. So I'm going to try it one more time. No matter what happens, this is going to be our last tier three attempt for the video because I've recorded this clip over and over again. And I just can't kill one of these for the life of me, even with Final Destination. But we'll try one more time. Boom, boom. Make sure the, uh, the stuff works. Okay, there we go. It works. This should be pretty much the last kill. Uh, this one should be the last one. Okay. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this, we're gonna let the those guys take care of this. Or they're not going to. Hello, could you please, zombies? Please? I'm intentionally only using two zombies, by the way. That is intended. Oh, are you serious? I'm already almost dead. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Alright, you know, we're just gonna- Okay, these zombies need to go. They really- they really do. And now I'm getting destroyed! Come on. Come on. Alright. Oh, I don't want to be using that though. Okay, wait. I want to use the uh, soul cry ability as much as I can. And I got to make sure that I'm um, keeping up with the healings. Please don't attack my boss. And I'm dead. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It's not enough. Final destination isn't enough. I mean, I have 2,500 kills. 
But even if I went to 10,000, like, it's 400 more defense. It's, it's not gonna save me. I don't know what else we need. I really don't. Honestly, I am lost. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to postpone our victory against the tier three Void Gloom because we still can't do it despite having Final Destination. I've spent basically all day trying to get a winning clip. I mean, you see, I'm trying the most weird of setups like half Final Destination, Necron, Chestplate, Reaper Mask, and I've gotten really, really close to taking it out. My record is currently, I got it to 11 million health and I ran out of time. And another one, I was on pace to kill it, but I died during the glyph phase. So, uh, if you have any other ideas that aren't getting a Warden Helmet and Overflux, because, well, well, those are on my to-do list as it is Aatrox right now, it's not something I can just do and have ready for the next episode. I need some stuff that, uh, yeah, so... <laughs> If you have any other ideas, leave them in the comments, but that's going to be it for today's episode of Iron Man. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, again, leave a like down on the video. It lets me know that you guys are still enjoying the series. And hit that subscribe button. We just hit 84,000 subscribers, so we're really darn close to our goal of 85,000. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Just double check. Sometimes YouTube unsubscribes you. It would mean the world to me. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.